For me, pike fishing is you know, primarily about the take and the prehistoric fish unchanged for half a million years. You know, Nature hit the nail on the head when they created the pike and it hasn't felt the need to change it. The thing that engages me about pike fly fishing is the fact that you're so mobile. It allows you to explore areas of a river or an area of fishing that you just don't normally go to. There's truth in winter and there's truth about pike fly fishing. down pike is pretty special because they're always on the hunt and when you're on the hunt for them it's kind of predator after predator. Explosive takes is exciting you know they'll come up behind the fly and what, what, what more could you want from a fish it's the it's the top dog. There's that awesome, frightening symmetry about a pike. It's beautifully crafted for what it does, which is kill things, and it is wild. The appeal of river pike to me is, you know, they're wild fish and it's an unknown quantity, you haven't got a clue what's there. It's exhilarating even if you don't catch the pike, you know, the, the, the follow and, you know, the near misses all make it that more exciting. You've got to present that fly in a way and, and work that fly in a way that's going to entice that pike in and ultimately, you know, fool it to hook in it. They're just sitting there waiting for somebody to come along and make a mistake. <laughs> a little chub or roach or something like that to stray a little bit too close and bam. <laughs> yeah. You see this shadow come up behind it and you see this fish just hovering as though somebody's just put an electric charge and prodded this fish, it explodes into action. A big pike on the fly is special. It can take years and years of fishing for them to, to catch these, these monsters. These big girls only make one or two mistakes a year and you have to capitalise on that, you know, you've got to make sure it counts and, and make sure everything's good, make sure the hook's sharp, make sure you're gonna, you're gonna set that hook and, and land that fish because they're not gonna make another mistake. The people I know who pike fish and who are quite obsessed with it, it's their real passion. I feel like they're always after something bigger. This style of fishing isn't a whole day's of fishing. I'm, I'm looking to catch one fish to get one bite from one fish and it's very much sort of specimen hunting, you know. Got to ring the changes, you've got to have at least a couple of shots in the locker. Obviously your first chance is your best chance with 
any fly fishing, the first time that fish sees a fly is, is your best opportunity. A 30 pound pike is, is, is a serious river beast. It's tying it all together, be it you know, the right time, the right conditions and the right retrieval, the right spot, everything like that, it all comes together. I knew roughly where this fish was going to be, it was going to be somewhere in sort of half mile stretch. Got on a little platform, pitched a fly down the next to this bush, landed sweet as a nut, just let it dig in a few inches, gave it two pulls and rolled out casually as you like from under the bush, took the fly, first time of asking, it all went to plan, hook set. And as soon as I set that hook, as soon as I felt that through the line, I knew it was big fish. And if you come on past me, under my feet, and I think it was then I, I, I looked up and said, uh, yeah, this is one of the big girls. Fish of this size are, are rare as hen's teeth, no doubt about it. Everything seems to be against you and then all of a sudden you have that reward. You just feel as though you've achieved just a little bit more than when everything is absolutely perfectly right. You know, that, that extra effort just makes it even better.